Welcome back everyone, Energy Fabricator here. Today I'm going to be working on the housing for the two small electrodes on my rotary spark gap that I'm building. Um, so what I want to do today is make a bit of a sleeve to hold the electrode and it's got to have a bit of adjustability left and right to adjust the spark gap between this electrode here and the rotary spark gap electrodes. Um, so to get that adjustability, what I've thought of doing was using a bit of this ceramic bake-like tubing here. We'll cut off two inches, mill a bit of a slot into it, and this thing can pop out the slot, and um, we'll have the adjustability by doing that. Um, so what I might do is take all of this down to Neil's factory, get a bit of time on his mill, and punch these slots through and um, come back and put it together and see how it looks. Okay, the slots have been cut in the electrode housing, so I'll go back now and clean these up and trim them down to size and fit the electrodes in and see how it looks. Okay, I'm back from Neil's factory and I've got my piece of ceramic bake light here. All the edges have been cleaned up and it's been trimmed to size, of course. And we'll just thread this fitting on and we can plug in our tubing and there we go we've got the adjustable spark gap housing or electrode housing sorry and I've got these two plastic conduit clips here 20 millimeter diameter conduit clips and they seem to fit really snugly on top of that ceramic tubing as you can see there's no play in that at all that's a very very solid connection of course the design might change and I might decide to scrap this whole housing assembly and just use a big piece of epoxy glass or ceramic bake light and whack it on the lathe round it off into a rod and then just drill a hole right in the top of it and do the same as what we've done here We'll put a slot in the top there and then instead of having a housing mounted to clips mounted to a standoff we can just have one big rod and this thing slipping straight through it fixed with a grub screw just like we're going to do here probably end up putting two grub screws in just to lock this down and lock it into position whenever we get the right gap um, so yeah the design might change but at the moment i'm happy with that it's looking good and i think i might go with it I still need to make an adapter to connect these brass air fittings to the end on this side uh, to replace these electrodes here, but that's another thing for another day. Until then, thanks for watching, please subscribe and leave comments.